Press Pass LA here at the third annual Face Forward Gala at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel, sponsored by the Alessi Institute. Face Forward gives back to the community by giving free reconstruction surgery to victims of domestic and gang violence. We're going to give you some great interviews from the red carpet tonight as they celebrate on this Moroccan-themed evening. Press Pass LA here with Bonnie Somerville. How are you doing this evening, Bonnie? I'm great. I'm hot. It's very hot out, but I'm great. Well, that's figuratively and literally because you look fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. How do you feel being the host of tonight's event? I'm nervous. I want to do a really good job. I just think what they're doing is incredible. So, but I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm, I'm honored to be a part of it. Well, you also have, you were in New York just yes. the other day, right? Right. I got here s Friday night. I leave tomorrow morning at 6, so. How do you do that turnaround? I I just, I'm not, I haven't slept yet. I'm just going to sleep on the plane. Well, you're, uh, you're no stranger to um, philanthropy and charity work because you do have your uh, CIS uh, charity. Would you like to tell our viewers about that also? Which one? Uh, the CIS, the Community oh, yes, in Schools. the Communities in Schools. Communities in Schools is an amazing charity that I work with here, um, keeping kids in school in the Los Angeles area. And then I also work with um, uh, Child uh, CAP, which is a New York charity, and it's Child Abuse Prevention Program, and they're an amazing charity for kids that have been abused and teaching them to say no and to talk about it. And it's really, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it as much as I can. Press Pass LA here with Tom Arnold. How are you doing tonight, sir? I'm hotter than balls. Can I say that on the show? <laughs> it is so hot. And uh, the power's been going off up in the, I live in Bennett Canyon, so it's been on and off. And it is hot. And uh, there aren't that many fat people who live here. So I'm saying to you, a few like me, fat people, be, get a fan. Just keep cool, keep hydrated. It'll go, it's going to get cooler eventually. Bear with me. Look how much I'm sweating. At least you don't have to be outside now in a suit. Okay? Get in a pool. Get in your neighbor's pool. Enjoy. Okay, that's my... <laughs> You're the honored host tonight. How do you feel hosting this Achieve event? Well, you know, when people ask me to host stuff, I have to have some kind of connection to it, you know. And, you know, I think this is great. I think that, you know, a lot of people, a lot of us, you know, have dealt with some sort of abuse or, you know, grown up that way. And, and you know, they, I always say it's an inside job dealing with it because you can't, you know, it, it, you got to work on yourself. But when you have the abuse and you, every time you look in the mirror, you're reminded of the abuse like these women are and they can see it on their faces. That would make it super hard, you know, speaking from experience, that would make it really hard to get in some sort of total recovery from that abuse so what this organization does I think is really important you know because we don't want to be haunted by uh, the abuse abuse whether it was when we were a kid or or as an adult you know we want to be able to move on past it and and to not see it in the mirror you know and so that's what these guys are doing and I think it's wonderful I think it's wonderful that you are this lady here to host tonight because not only are you going to bring smiles upon people's faces, I know that you're very philanthropic, but you also use humor with things involved. But we'd also want to give a shout out to your future projects coming up. Would you like to tell our viewers what you have in store next? What I have in store? Well, tonight I have a show premiering on CMT, that's country music television, called Redneck Rehab, where, uh, you know, that somebody has grown up in a small town and, and, they, and they move to the big city to be big time and they forget about their family. And so I go into, I was in Miami on Thursday, I go into this place, the big city gal comes in, she's trying to be a model, and her whole redneck family is there from the Midwest, their whole small town family, to confront her and say, why don't you... Are you embarrassed about us? Whatever. And, and it's really sweet. It's a comedy. It's supposed to be a comedy. It's very sweet. You know, you're dealing with families. And I, I have that stuff and I have some movie thing. And I have a movie out called Hit and Run right now. You can see with uh, Dak Shepard, Bradley Cooper, and uh, Krista Bell, and a million other people. Good evening. Press Pass LA here with Dr. Jen Berman. How are you doing this evening? Great, thank you. I'm out here to support this very wonderful cause, Face Forward, that was founded by Mr. and Dr. Alisi. Could you tell us a bit with you about your involvement? Well, when I heard about Face Forward, I got a phone call and a friend of mine told me about it and I just thought, I really need to be involved with this. I'm so honored to be here. My original background when I first started as a therapist was in the domestic violence work. And I was working for the Los Angeles Commission on Assaults Against Women as a rape and battering hotline counselor. So I've seen firsthand how traumatic and how incredibly painful domestic violence can be. And I, I have a show, VH1 Couples Therapy, where I see couples through a lot of tension and trauma and it's you know I was just so honored to be asked to be involved tonight. Hi Sean Tube, my wife Lorena. And Lorena too. And you are very hands-on with the charity. In fact, if you go onto the website, it has your picture with a beautiful smile on it. Would you tell our viewers just how directly involved you are with it? 
Well, actually, you know, this is the first year that I'm involved in, the, uh, in this uh, wonderful, wonderful event, and uh, it's such an important uh, cause. It's, you know, there's so much need out there, but uh, you have to do as much as you can, and I'm blessed that they have asked me to be involved, and uh, it's just wonderful what they do. You know, and uh, it, it's, it's, you know, when they asked, I, even though tonight was a difficult night for me to get here because we have a wedding across the street. So yes. I'm a very good from actually the producers of I, I, Iron Man that I was in. Or it's his wedding and, uh, uh, and, uh, and I couldn't say no because it's, uh, you know, you got to give your support and you got to come and you got to make sure that uh, people are aware of what they, these guys are doing. And they, uh, you know, they put so much of themselves, which is impressive. Yeah. Such, that is such a great response, too, and I don't want to get you in trouble for being at the wedding, but I think they'll be able to let you slide because you are doing something very worthwhile. Press Pass LA here with David Rodriguez. How are you doing tonight, sir? I'm great. Couldn't be better. Thank you so much for stopping and talking with us. We know that you are actually ranked number five right now. You're next in line for the heavyweight championship. Oh, yeah. yeah, now that's next year, is it right? Well, I, I just had a knee surgery, so I'm recovering from that, but it looks like, uh, yeah, we're, we're getting ready to fight February 23rd. Um, it's going to be a big fight in my hometown on pay-per-view, so it's going to be, uh, the magnitude's going to be great. Every time I fight in my hometown, it's the electricity, you can cut it with a knife, so I'm excited about that. Yeah, I th I'd say I'm probably about two, three fights away from the heavyweight championship. Awesome. Now, I know that you're here for a very, very prestigious event here at the Face Forward LA. How did you get involved with Face Forward? Well, I was, I'm a victim of a violent attack. You know, I, 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 I suffered a, a knife attack that um, I, almost lost, I almost lost my life, and that was just nine months ago. So I'm recovering. I'm, I'm doing better. You know, I lost three pints of blood. I was in the hospital for three days in a coma. I mean, so I've, I've been through this. So any way that I can help out with, with charities like this, such as Face Forward, I'm all for it. 100% in. Press Pass LA here with Dennis Smith and his beautiful wife. You got his lovely, Tiff lovely daughter Tiffany and his wife Andre. How are you doing tonight? We're doing great. We're just out here just trying to celebrate this uh, great cause. Uh, I figured I'd bring out my best assets, my wife and my daughter. So, you know, we're, we're used to having fun and, and eating and drinking and being married, but today it's for a good cause, too. That makes it even better. Yeah, most people know you as the all-time, all-pro, 14 years on the Denver Broncos wide receiver. You, you know, well, we know tonight that you're here for charitable events, and you also have some charities of your own that you give to, the Make-A-Wish Foundation and the Covenant House. Am I correct with that? Oh, yeah. I give, I give, well, there are a few more that are too many to count, but I, we love to be able to give back. And I think as we get older, that, that's what we like to do. I mean, besides just going out, have fun, we want to go out with a purpose. So we go out and have fun, but we're giving back at the same time. So I think that's the that's the that's the great thing about it. Now, Phase Four deals with giving um, back in the community, but helping with surgeries who've been victims of domestic abuse and gang violence. How do you contribute to this yourself? Like, do you have any personal experiences? Well, you know, I'm uh, uh, currently I'm, where I'm, I'm on my third season of HBO's Treme, and I play a sheriff's captain in in New Orleans Parish. And New Orleans Parish goes through a great, great deal of domestic violence, but even violence within that community. And I think that one of the main things is that being able to kind of find a way in which to, you have an artistic form, but be able to bring particular stories to line. So season three has a lot of very interesting things that I can't tell you about, but it, it does go along lines, which is why I'm here tonight. And as a sheriff's captain, you know, you kind of, you know, you're, you're immersed in the community, so you kind of need to do things. What's up, Steve? Absolutely. Now, one thing um, that I do know is that you do shoot it on location, That's as you said. In, actually, in, all my scenes are with Melissa Leo on the Oscar for the Fighter, and we always shoot our, our scenes in Treme. So almost every time that I do scenes with just her, it's within the neighborhood of what the title of the show. So it, it's a real neighborhood where everything, where Jazz was born and where this whole, where whole existed. Wow. So and you're also kind of used to this weather down there too. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You do get. You do. Uh, with the 100% humidity, you know, like 6 a.m. shoot times, and it's like 104. You you get you get used to drinking lots of water and staying in your trailer as much as possible. See, that's how you have the key. That's why you look like you're just staying right. so cool. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. I'm going back down at the uh, end of this month, and I'm shooting the movie The Butler with Lee Daniels directing, and I'm working with uh, Forrest Whitaker and uh, Robin Williams. So we'll be down. I'll be down there for like two weeks. Yeah, it's got Oprah. It's got it's got everybody in this movie. Okay, now that's something to plug. Oh, the no, Butler, right? The Butler will be an Oscar contender a year from now. I can guarantee you that. Oh, well, 
You heard it here first. He pressed pass away, gets it first. Pass LA here with Stephen Glickman. How are you doing this evening? I'm very good. I'm happy to be here. This is a wonderful event and a great charity, and uh, couldn't be happier to be here. We know that Phase Four is dealing with um, healing not only the physical but emotional scars from domestic violence and gang violence. How did you get involved with this charity? You know, when I when I first heard about it. You know, I, I grew up in San Diego, and in San Diego we have a lot of gang problems. We used to have a, a lot of gang problems down there. And um, I, I, I knew some kids that had been involved in it down there. And when I heard about it, you know, from up here, immediately I just, I gravitated to it, and I, I wanted to be a part of it. I wanted to be a part of it tonight. And um, and I'm, I'm so uh, I'm so lucky to, to be here. We hope you enjoyed yourself this evening. We're going to go in for the silent auction. That way we can also give back to such a great cause. Press Pass LA. Get what matters.